What's up, Rich Squad guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich. And if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Road to 10K is in full effect. As you can tell from the title, I'll be letting you know my best combined 11 for the France versus Croatia fixture. Well, Didier Deschamps and Zlatko Dalic have both successfully taken their respective teams into the final of the 2018 World Cup. So this means you have to pick 18 players, 9 from France and 9 from Croatia. So guys, I'm going to share my 18-man squad with you. For my head coach, I'm going to go in with Zlatko Dalic and Didier Deschamps is going to be his understudy. For the goalkeeper, I'm going to go in with Daniel Suicic. For a lower profile goalkeeper, I think he has outperformed Hugo Lloris and he deserves the number one spot in my team. Not to mention that he saved Croatia in two penalty shootouts and labored through a hamstring injury. So Daniel Suicic, man, you have won our hearts and you deserve a spot in my 11. For center backs, I'm going to start with the Frenchman Samuel Umtiti. Well, he scored a goal to put France in the final and he have been solid all World Cup. So the Barcelona man definitely makes my 11. Then his partner will be the Croatian Damagai Vida. He has been really, really impressive and his energy levels are off the chain. Like he just keeps going and going and going. He deserves a spot in my 11. And for my left back, the Frenchman Lucas Hernandez. He have been really solid all World Cup and he has really come of age in this tournament. So he deserves a spot in my 11 for sure. Let's switch over to the right where we have the Croatian Shimi Vasaliko. Come on guys, come on. No way Benjamin Pavard could make it ahead of Shimi Vasaliko. He has been awesome for Croatia for the entire World Cup. Central defensive midfielders. Well guys, we have to start with N'Golo Kante, man. Popping up everywhere, annoying everyone, cutting out passes, Winning balls, winning tackles, he has just been awesome. He has the most completed passes at the World Cup for any player, I think. And come on, N'Golo Kante deserves a shout in my 11. To partner him in the middle of the field is the Croatian Ivan Rakitic. Come on, guys. Come on, don't debate this. Rakitic over Pogba in the middle of the field. Of course, the Croatian gets the nod. So, guys, now for further up the field, the left wing or the left midfield position it goes to no other than Antoine Griezmann, the Frenchman. He has been really good for France this World Cup. And he is a prime golden ball candidate as well. So Antoine Griezmann also makes the cut. In the central attacking midfield position, it goes to no other than the Croatian captain, Luka Modric. Guys, come on. I don't even need to elaborate on how awesome he has been all World Cup. Just continue running and running and running and running. And he has just been awesome, man. Awesome. Sublime for Croatia. Taking them all the way to the World Cup final. Over on the right wing, no other than the best young player of the tournament, Kylian Mbappe. Oh God, how quick is he? How skillful is he? But he got to cut out the Neymar antics as well. But he has been brilliant all World Cup. Though. Scoring three goals and he will need to come big again for France in the final. Kylian Mbappe makes it to my best eleven. Up top, center forward, a big center forward. It has to go to the Croatian Mario Mandzukic. Scored a winning goal versus England to take Croatia into the final. Guys, how awesome he has been. He has been a warrior for Croatia. Running and running and running. Three consecutive matches going to extra time. And Mario Mandzukic never gave up. So... He definitely makes this 11 to round off my France versus Croatia combined 11. But now for the subs, guys. I have to name seven subs. Who will make the cut? For my backup goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, the Frenchman, of course. He has been really, really good, but I think Subasic has been better. Then for my backup right back or my backup defender, because he is so versatile, is Benjamin Pavard. He has been fantastic at this World Cup. This is his breakout tournament, so he makes it to the squad. And for my third sub, I got the Croatian Ivan Perisic. How good was he versus England, scoring a goal and picking up an assist to win Man of the Match award? Football is definitely not coming home because of Ivan Perisic. He makes it to my squad. Then for my fourth sub, Paul Pogba. He has been really good at the World Cup, but he has been playing a quiet, quiet role. Paul Pogba needs to come to life in the final 
but he still makes my squad then we have the croatian ante rebic this is his breakout tournament as well this is his breakout year winning the dfb pokal with eintracht frankfurt versus bayern munich that's a big statement that's an underdog for you ante rebic look out for that name guys ante rebic and for my sixth substitute another frenchman rafael varan what a tournament he is having for france man awesome awesome defenders do not get enough credit but rafael varan and umtiti has both come big for france at this 2018 world cup he makes it to my squad and last but not least the croatian dayan lovren of course i had to throw lovren in there he has played really really well at the 2018 world cup making it to back-to-back -to -back finals after he did it with liverpool of course he will be in the squad as well so guys that's nine croatian players and nine french players to make up my squad of 18 best 11 plus subs so guys let me give you a quick recap of my best france versus croatia squad of 18 players subasic umtiti vida hernandez vasaliko kante rakitic griezmann Modric, Mbappe, and Mario Mandzukic. On the bench, we have Loris, Perisic, Pagba, Rebic, Pavard, Lovren, and Varan. Guys, let me know your best squad of 18 in the comment section down below. So guys, for question of the day, question of the day. Who has used their subs better at the 2018 World Cup? Is it France or is it Croatia? Let me know your answer in the comment section down below. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out, Rich Squad.